I want to take a closer look at quality in Burgundy, just because this is a, a key thing that we're going to talk about. And please, as, when the wines are poured, feel free to smell, absorb, just save them for enough for when we, when we talk. But quality in Burgundy um, is difficult. So I have this, uh, this is a, a, a zooming in, right? There are macro factors that affect how we interpret quality. Um, there's vintage conditions. Um, there's, right, like we have 2014 versus 2015, neighboring vintages that couldn't be more different. 14 was leaner, cooler, 15 much warmer, a little bit more opulent. Um, you have site topography, elevation, how high something is. Higher sites on the hill of Corton produce Chardonnay that's more focused and pure and lean, um, whereas sites on the bottom of the hill are richer. There's different soils there. It's, uh, it's warmer. Um, and soil obviously has an effect but it affects how a vine can obtain water nutrients, potentially how heat is received by the vine, and, and, it, and that can aid um, in ripening or be detrimental. But the concept of, you know, Chablis tastes chalky because of its chalky soils is, is just not correct. We can't, we can't be saying things like that. It's, 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 it's not possible for a vine to absorb chalk from the soil and then put it in a grape and then it's in your wine. It might taste that way, um, but it's because of a of myriad of other factors, right, coming together, the microclimate, the temperature, all of those sorts of things. Um, micro factors to consider are microclimate. So even within the top climats, like Clos de Vougeau is quite large, and depending on where your plots are, you have a different style, different quality. Um, same with the hill of Corton. Um, it's a massive hill, and it spans from Pernon Virgilis all the way to Alex Corton and Lodois Serigny. And you have Chardonnay, Pinot Noir planted on so many different soils. And depending on the producer, that Corton Charlemagne is going to taste very different. 